we found that many people, when they're doing their end-to-end -end tests, need to either make an API call to get some data that they then pass into their certified process, or they may need to seed some data through an API. Okay? So we've, for several years now, about three, we've had a SOAP UI interface where if you had existing SOAP UI tests that could be run, and we've now done the same thing with Postman. We're seeing a lot of uptick in actually Postman for REST calls. So um, if you're familiar with the SOAP UI um, integration, you'll see this is very similar. We have the concept that there's a step to configure it. You can set variables that go into Postman so you can reference them. You can run the collection, and you can get your variables back, get your error statistics, or get your last error message. So the idea is it makes it very easy to integrate with. So from a Postman perspective, um, I have a RESTful call here, and I have two elements that go into the URL. So these parameters here are two zip codes I'm going to ask it to do a calculation on. What I've done is in my collection in Postman, I've created those as variables. And then the idea is from the certified side, I want to pass data into these variables so that they're used in my Postman collection when I run it. We run through Newman. And then I've got the distances returned here. I've got a getter that will let me go return that back. So the integration is pretty simple. It's build your, um, your RESTful calls and such in Postman, which a lot of people already have. And then whatever needs to be variableized, we can actually pass the data in and out from certified's perspective. Okay. Um, in my test, I do have a, a, I set the zip code distance, so I get the distance out of the response, and I also do an assertion. So um, I say if the, um, if it's the response code is equal to 200, great, pass the test. Anytime you fail those tests, they actually fail in the certified process. Um, anytime you get variables and get data from the, the response, in this case it's a JSON response, we'll actually, you can actually do getters and pull those back to your certified process. So you've got a lot of flexibility. You can have multiple validations or assertions. You can pull back multiple variables of data. Okay. So from the Postman perspective, it's very simple. We just have an application and one window called collection. And you can see here, I am point to a collection, the JSON document. I then set variables. So my zip1 and zip2 are my resources that go into the RESTful URL. And then I do a getter back to take that zip distance that I, the variable I created in Pestman, and I'm going to pass it back to my EM distance in kilometers certified um, property. So I'll go over how this works. So this is my Pestman call. Um, you can see here I've got my zip code. So what I did is I created, if I go to edit my collection and variables, you can see I've created two variables, and I've given them a default value of 75001 and 75010. So this is you know how you would normally start testing this and thinking about data. So if I send this, what will happen is it tells me that these are 10 kilometers apart. So um, I've built my request, and I've got dynamic data in it. And in my test area, I can see that I look to make sure I get a response code 200, and then I also set the zip distance. So in this case, I actually set that at an environment level because I may want to use that in multiple calls. So if you have three or four REST calls inside of your collection, um, and it, you can set your environment variable so you can pass data between them, and those are also candidates for us to pull back and to certify itself. Okay? So I'll have you remember, see this says um, 10 kilometers, 0.572. Now, here's my certified process. And what it is, I have the, um, there's a secondary installer that you run, and then you'll set up your application for Postman. So you can see here, what I'm doing is I'm pointing to my Postman collection. If you actually have stored your collections inside the Postman cloud, you'll use your web GUI and your URLs to reference them. In this case, I'm referencing one on disk, but we support referencing them from the cloud also. Now, the zip1 and zip2, notice I have 75201 and 78746. So I'm passing different data in 
to prove to you I'm actually passing data in, and then we'll run it, and then the results back will show us the different the distance in kilometers. So when I click run, click on run, what happens? We're actually using the Newman interface to run this, which is how you would normally run um, your Postman collections without the UI. So the UI we looked at is great for editing and eyes on the glass. The Newman run. So you can see it ran very quickly. Here I can see that I passed in my two variables. I did my store. I look at my parameter. I got the distance in kilometers, 293, and I returned that back. So um, seems pretty easy and straightforward because it is actually very easy and straightforward. What we've done is we've basically used the Newman interface and created a nice um, Newman and created a nice certified interface to it. And so you can see here my distance is different. So that means I actually passed in my different zip codes to the service and it calculated the difference in, in kilometers for me. Now I can use this um, as you know, this, this property, um, distance in kilometers, in a certified process anywhere I want to. So very straightforward and we're finding this is something most people are wanting to do.